hey guys what's up and welcome back to a brand new video so hope you guys are having an amazing day so guys back again with a tech video for you guys so guys in this video i'll be showing you how to use any old action camera whether it's a gopro or a cheap action camera has a security camera or a cctv camera for your home for your office or maybe for your parking so what got me to this point was someone tried to break the windows of my car they scratched the entire body i mean from the front bumper to the rear bumper and when i went to the police station to write a report the first thing they asked me is did you have any type of cameras around the parking well i said no and because of which they couldn't really catch the person who did all of this act so that got me into thinking is i should have some kind of camera inside my parking for the spot where i park because for the entire parking i really need a very big kind of cctv camera system so basically this camera is about three to four years old and this was in the competition of gopro hero 2 back then because of which the video quality of this camera is just amazing it can record up to 2k so the things you are going to need a big memory card i mean with large storage i put in a 64 gigs of memory card but you can put 128 gb or 256 gb because memory cards are pretty cheap these days and the second thing you need is a power adapter which uh, most people are going to be having a micro usb uh, cable lying around in the home and the third thing is in order to mount uh, the camera you can use the waterproof mount or you can use a 3m mount any way you can like to attach the camera i used an old gorilla tripod it fits pretty nicely with the camera and i can uh, put the gorilla tripod onto my balcony and put some cable ties around it but uh, you can also use 3m if you like and then the thing you need to do is you need to make sure the power supply is 24 7 there you, you want to make sure the power supply doesn't cut off because the batteries of this action camera don't last more than two to three hours or more like something like that so i ended up putting this camera on my balcony and since it's a wireless camera i went into settings i turned on the loop video recording so what loop video recording really does it's it, it uh, deletes the old footage and makes a new one so because of which you don't have to come every day and uh, delete the old footage and start recording again because if you don't have the loop recording turned on the storage card will get full after two to three days or maybe one day if you're having a 8 to 16 gb of memory card and then it will stop recording so what loop recording really does it, it keeps recording and it deletes the last footage which it has made uh, the oldest one in the in the memory card so this keeps the camera recording without any kind of involvement of yours and whenever you need to access the footage all you have to do is you need to take the memory card out or if that doesn't seem convenient you can really access the camera through the app inside your smartphone because it's a wireless camera and you can save all the footage into your gallery it is super easy and convenient and the great part is if you are near this camera you can turn on the app and you can really check what's going on uh, without the need of pulling out the recording again and again and for i think like under 10 to 12 dollar which i which i have invested in this setup the setup works really good and believe me guys the footage of this camera is far better than most of the cheap uh, i will say cctv cameras out there because it could really record up to 2k and you can really zoom in to check uh, a person uh, without any problem it also has a mic if you want to uh, if you want to see the recording if you want to hear the voice and uh, the great part is it does come with this ring light on the front so when this camera is out and anyone could see that there's a camera inside the parking so they can really stay away or it if it's mounted on the balcony because the red light glows just like a security camera and it is keeps blinking to notify you that the camera is recording so overall i will say for under the 20, 10 to 12 dollars the setup is pretty amazing i will put the link in the description if you want to buy this action camera but if you don't have an action camera lying around you can really buy an old gopro which works uh, which is in working state and that can also work uh, without any problem i would really like to use this action camera as a dash camera in my car i will make a video about it uh, soon because the only thing i need is a power supply and that's about it and um, i will uh, show you guys the footage it recorded has a dash camera on my car i will maybe upload it later on my channel I will link all the parts which I used in this video such as the micro USB cable, the memory card as well as the Gorilla tripod inside the description if you want to check anything out. So with that being said, that pretty much wrap this video up. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing or become a part of this channel. And thanks for watching and goodbye.